If you follow me on TikTok, you know exactly where this video is about to go. Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are talking about the Canadian things Americans think are weird. I have been doing this series on TikTok for a while and it has just blown up. Some people love it, some people hate it, but honestly the people who hate it, I think it's because I cannot possibly explain all of these things in 60 seconds, hence this longer YouTube video where we can kind of talk about it more in detail and I can answer some of the questions that come in the comment section before you guys get mad. Okay, I'm gonna just stop blathering and I'm gonna get right into them starting with the most popular bagged milk. Yes, in Canada we have bagged milk. This isn't in every single province. It's predominantly in Ontario, Quebec, and the Maritimes. A long, long time ago they had it out west, but I think that it wasn't very popular and they've taken it away now. So if you're from the west, don't get mad. Um, it was a thing and now it's not. So usually it's one large bag of milk and then inside of that there are three separate bags of milk. So what you do is you, when you're ready to use that milk, you take a bag out, you put it into a pitcher, and then you cut a hole in the corner. The problem with this is that you either cut the hole too big or too small. If it's too big, the milk goes all over the counter when you try to pour it. If it's too small, no milk comes out. It's like a constant battle and if you've perfected it, then you're a true Canadian. So the history behind this is in the mid 1960s and earlier, they used plastic bottles in order to store the milk, but they wanted to try something a little bit different that was cheaper and easier to transport, which is why they tried out the plastic. So obviously in some provinces it really took off and then other provinces it didn't. And that's why some places in Canada have it and others don't. There are some places in the United States also that have tried it out in the past, but I don't think it's as popular. Right now it's estimated that 75 to 80% of all milk bottles in Ontario is bagged milk. That's a lot. It's very popular. Growing up going into anyone's house, I remember them always having this type of milk. You can still get milk in cartons and certain brands will only make it in the cartons, but bagged milk is super popular, at least in Ontario where I grew up. I've also seen chocolate milk in bags, but I've never seen anything like almond milk or soy milk. Plastic money. In Canada, our money is made out of synthetic polymer, which is just a fancy way of saying plastic. So because of this, it is very durable, it's hard to rip, and it's also waterproof. Our money also comes in multiple different colors, so our $5 bills are blue, our $10 are purple, our 20s are green, our 50s are red, and then our $100 bills are brown. When they first came out, people thought that they smelled like scratch and sniff. There's a little maple leaf that's on it, and everyone thought that if you scratch this, it would smell like maple. Personally, I swear on my life that they did smell like maple, but the bank hasn't confirmed or denied this, so it's one of those things that will always remain a mystery. The reason that the bank made the money so fancy is because they were having a lot of difficulty with people making counterfeit money, so in order to avoid counterfeits, they just made them really difficult to replicate. In Canada, when you're at a restaurant or a bar and you're ready to pay, they will always bring a portable machine to the table and you'll pay it right there. They don't take away your card in order to run it through. I actually really like this about restaurants and bars in Canada. I want to know where my card is at all times, personally. Now there are some places in the United States that will do this as well. It's not just solely a Canadian thing. The difference is that everywhere does it in Canada, whereas in the United States it's about 50-50 depending on where you are. Wearing shoes inside. This one is very controversial because a lot of times it's not necessarily a Canada versus America thing. It's more of a north, south, or specific household thing. So in Canada, because we have winter for so many months out of the year, you don't wear your shoes inside. If anything, you have indoor and outdoor shoes because if you're outside, your shoes are gonna get covered in slush and in mud and in snow. So you obviously take them off when you go inside. This is also gonna be true for the northern parts of the United States. But in the south, like Texas, where I live, it's nice most of the time. So unless it's raining, you wear your shoes inside and outside. Everyone that I know here in Texas does this. Um, they wear them. If you go to a party at somebody else's house, you don't take your shoes off at the door unless somebody specifically tells you to do so. It's just a common thing for people to wear their shoes inside here. Now, the reason that this is so controversial is there are obviously households in the United States that will take off their shoes as well. The difference that I find is that every single person in Canada will always take off their shoes. It's like a reflex. You don't even think about it. Whereas in the US, some people do and some people don't. There are so many Canadian things that Americans think are weird. And I'm sure there's a lot of American things that Canadians think are weird as well. If you guys want to see more, then make sure you go over to my TikTok because I have a ton of these videos. I'm going to be linking that below if you guys want to check it out. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video if you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next video.